Hi folks and welcome to today's video, herniated disc post travel recovery routine. Now we do make a lot of great content for those folks out there suffering with low back pain issues, such as sciatic and nerve pain, herniated discs, bulging discs, lumbar stenosis, lumbar arthritis. If that's you, hit that subscribe button. You get notified when we upload some great new content to YouTube to get you back on the road to recovery. But without further ado, let's get into today's video. So folks, today I'm gonna to talk about a recovery routine. You've been traveling, flying long haul, long drive, you suffer from back pain issues, herniated disc, lumbar, you know, uh, bulging discs. What can you do when you get your destination that's gonna alleviate some of that pain and make your journey or make the end of your journey a better experience, okay? And we've all been there, okay, you've had a long journey, you suffer from back pain issues, you get there, you get out the car, oh, like an old man, or you get off the plane, you just want to jump in the bed, lie down flat, and just oh, recover, take some painkillers, etc. So this little routine I put together, um, a lot of the clients I work with, they do travel, and it's like a little safety toolkit, if you will. Um, when they get to a destination, they know they can do these little exercises, activities, and they will feel a lot better once they get there, once they do this routine, and they can go about their, if it was a work trip, vacation, holiday, whatever, okay? So, regardless if you're flying, if you are flying actually, or if you're driving, um, you should check out, I've got some other videos, they're gonna pop up at the end of this one. There's one for actually flying, and there's one for uh, driving. There are gonna be two videos pop up at the end of this video, which go into more details, what you can do, like your driving position, and also if you're flying, what you can do in the plane to alleviate some of those pains, sciatica, back pain, etc. okay? So watch the end of this one, and they're gonna pop up when you can see those. However, once we get to our destination, hopefully you're into your hotel room, into your friend's house, family house, whatever. What I want you to go into is what's called, what I call the relief position, okay? So you would use a uh, couple of big towels, a pillow, okay? And you would fold it up, wrap it up there. And this is gonna be under our hips, okay? And you're gonna lie face down on this, under the hip region. I'm still in the shot here. And you wanna lie face down, I'm gonna put my head in the backs of my hands here, just make sure I'm keeping shot. And you're just gonna breathe gently two to three minutes in that position. So, I'm just gonna go down here, under my hips. So you're gonna lose me as I go down here. Head in the back of the hands, and big, deep belly breaths. And you would do that for minimum two up to three minutes. It basically helps to do what's called passive decompression of the spine, it helps to relax off those lower back muscles, give you some back pain relief from that region, okay? Then staying on the floor, what I want you to do, you're gonna do some stretches, we're gonna open up the hip region. Typically when we fly, sit, journey, you know, car, etc., we get quite tight in the hip flexors, in the glutes, inside the adductors here. We wanna stretch off those hips so when you do move, when you're walking, that you do actually feel things move better, okay? So, we're gonna go from here. I'm gonna put my left leg in front. We're gonna we'll be stretching my right hip flexor region here. Now, sit up nice and tall. I'm gonna kick out my back leg, like so, the back foot out on my back toe. Then I'm gonna show you from the side something here. I want to squeeze my tail under, okay? I'm going to show you easier here. So I'm neutral, and then I squeeze my tail under. Squeeze, I squeeze my glutes, my tail goes under. That's the position you want to go in. Legs kicked out. When I squeeze my tail, I typically feel an increase in the stretch in the front, front part of my thigh here, the hip flexor region. Keep that squeezed on so we keep the stretch, stretch actively engaged. Put my hands in front fingers face the ceiling, I rotate my hands to the ground, and I gently extend the whole arm and shoulder girdle forwards. Keep my head in line with my spine, don't tilt it back, my chin's not on my chest, tuck my chin in, I push my arms forward, keep my glutes squeezed, and I stretch the front part of my hip flexor here. Then you're gonna change, right leg, again, kick back leg out, on my toe, 
into this position, squeeze my glute under, tuck my tail, pushing my arms, projecting my arms forward. I'm not holding my breath, breathing. And you wanna hold the stretch for 20 to 30 seconds. When you do stretch, you wanna actively engage the stretch. Don't push 100%, bring the stretch on. Breathing naturally, normally. <sighs> nice and slow, relaxed breaths. I feel the stretch, it's engaged, and I hold it, okay? Don't push to the point of pain. Now from there, we're simply just gonna get onto the floor. We're gonna do some of the glutes a little bit here. So we're gonna lie on our back. We're gonna take the left ankle, place it on my right knee. I'm gonna put the outside edges of my feet out. I'm gonna turn them out, okay? I'm gonna bring the toes back towards my knee. I'm gonna gently lift up the other leg. Now, depending on the length of your arms, your flexibility, you may go through the right leg. You may have to, like me, I put one hand on top here. Keep the outside edge of that foot turned out. Keep the toes back towards this knee. And I gently just pull the right knee up towards the right shoulder, and you should feel that stretch round in the left glute region. You're gonna hold that in position, 20, 30 seconds, and then you're gonna change the other side. You're gonna hold, again, 20, 30 seconds, same position, outside edge out, toe towards the knee, hold, and then relax. Now we're gonna move on to the adductors here. So for this, you want to be on the floor. Again, you might need to use a, a mat or a towel. I'm going to open my legs as wide as they can go. Open my knees out as wide as they can go. My weight's on my hands here. I want to move my feet so my, my knee is in line with my ankle. Okay, there. And then I'm going to tuck my tail again. So I'm going to show you from the side in a second. As I tuck my tail under, I shall feel the stretch increase in the inside of my thigh, in the adductors. If I show you from the side, so I turn these mats, oh, those are hurting my knees, here. So, I'm in this position here, and then I tuck my tail under, and that increases the stretch, and I just hold 20, 30 seconds. I keep tucking my tail, so I keep the stretch engaged, holding, 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 and relax. Off. Now, we can go from here. We're going to do a little bit more of the lower back decompression. Okay, so we're going to pretend that this is a wall here, and we're going to give you two exercises, either or, or both, if you wish. Um, you're going to go into this position here. My legs are on the wall. Now, depending if you've got very tight hamstrings, if you've got sciatica, you may not be able to get close to the wall. Ideal position is butt against the wall, okay? However, if you struggle because your hamstrings are tight, if you've got sciatica, then you're gonna go in a position, doesn't matter if it's as far back as this, for example, it's always to your individual maximum, okay? If you can get your legs into the wall, let me show you the position. So I've used this wall so it's easier to see on the camera. So I'm up against the wall here. Now, the most important thing is my lower back region is pulled on the floor. A good way to cue it is I take a big deep breath, breath in. As I breathe out, I imagine my belly button's going through my spine and I hold my lower back on the floor. From there, I rotate my legs inwards, I pull my, my toes back to my knees, and I extend my knees, okay? I take my hands in front of me, my wrists face each other, my thumbs are gonna go towards the ground here, then I want to project my arms away from me, and I'll show you again from the side, and I'm gonna project my legs up the wall, okay? I'm trying to imagine I'm pushing my heels to the ceiling, pushing my arms away from me. This is active decompression. At the same time, I pull my lower back into the floor. Now this is generally for L5S1 region. It's also a general lumbar decompression stretch and I hold this position. I'm pushing my legs, 
pushing with my arms. I'm still breathing, able to talk. I'm using 50% power. Keep my lower back pulled on the floor. Let me show you from the side again. And I've got a more detailed video on that particular stretch. That'll be down in the description, okay? It is a very technical decompression stretch. You can find more of the in-depth details on it on the description video, okay? So I'm here, rotate the legs in, toes towards my knees, lower back pulled onto the floor, thumbs to the floor, and I project my arms away, push my arms, my uh, heels towards the ceiling, lower back on the floor, and I hold, and I push, pushing, pushing my arms, pushing my legs up, keeping the lower back pulled on the floor, breathing, yes, it's technical, I know, check out the other video for more in-depth details, okay, and relax. You want to hold that 30 seconds, 40 seconds, up to a minute if you can. Now, I know that's quite technical. It is quite difficult to do. So what you can do instead and or, let me show you. Typically, where you're going on your journey, if there's a bed, if it's a hotel room, if it is a friend's house, family house, whatever, you can do a very gentle type of passive decompression. So here is my we'll call this the bed, okay? Could also be a table. What you want to do is just gently go over to the edge of the bed here. My hips are just at the edge of the bed. Hold on to the side of the bed and just let my knees hang. Let my body weight hang. And I can go back a little bit more just to the edge here. And as my knees drop, I get this pulling. I get a bit of decompression happening at my lower back region. You can hear me okay there. So I'm just letting the body weight, my lower body hang here. It's pulling my pelvis. It's creating a little bit of decompression. It's gonna help relax off those back muscles. And you would stay here for one to two minutes. <sighs> Big deep belly breaths. <sighs> now, you wanna relax out of that. Take your time. And then from there, what I would do I would get up and I would take a five to 10 minute brisk walk around the hotel block, around my friends, family. It was pouring rain outside, just walk up and down the corridors of the hotel. Just a brisk walk, get the blood pumping, get the limbs moving in properly. Then come back, unpack, go to dinner, take a shower, whatever you have to do. Okay guys? So just to run through it again, when you get back in from your travel, plane, train, automobiles, whatever, good movie, Okay, um, you want to get into your into the room, into the spare room, into your family room, whatever. You want to go into that relief position first, a couple of minutes. It's going to give you some passive decompression, help to release some of the tension in the lower back. You want to run through those hip stretches, front of the hip, um, glutes, adductors. Then you want to walk on, work on some other decompression work here, either the active sort of general lumbar active decompression work or this passive decompression then take a nice five to 10 minute brisk walk and you should be good to go. Using that little routine post traveling will help you maintain your progress, will help you sometimes get out of that pain that you will suffer from the traveling experience and continue you on the road to full recovery. So guys, listen, I hope that's been useful for you. Don't forget the two videos are gonna pop up in just a second that are gonna go into more details about setting up your car, seat position, how to handle pains on the plane, etc., with practical advice given to you when I was flying, okay, in the plane. Um, if you've got questions, comments, hit me up in the comment section down below. If you are there suffering with your own low back pain issues, you don't know where to turn, you're struggling for, for help, you're not getting the results you expect, drop me an email. It's also in the description down there as well. If you wish, you can also stand up for a free advice call. I spend 45 minutes talking to you, giving you some good advice on how to get you out of pain, how to keep going on that path to being pain free. All right, guys, listen, hope you've enjoyed this today. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Have a great day.